Congratulations, graduates. It's Cindy Ronzoni here from cindyronzoni.com. Since, since the middle of June, and there's been several high school graduations going on in my area, I thought I'd openly speak with you about some things that I say whenever I go to speak to graduates. I have a heart for college students and students in general. And I've just been amazed at what I've been seeing when I've been speaking with the, to the kids. I've been seeing such fear come across their faces when they talk about what's life going to be out, be like when I'm out of college? Will I be able to get a job? Is it as bad as everyone says? And, and I just want to say to you, no, it's not. That today um, there are many things you can do, tools that are at your access. So today I'm going to talk to myself a little bit. I'm going to do an interview about some of the things that I normally tell students what they can do to help them land a job. So with that, Cindy, it's nice having you here today. Can you, uh, I know you have a very busy schedule and so it was wonderful that you could fit us in. It's my pleasure to be here with you today, Cindy. I'd like to talk to you today about um, what you usually advise students when you're speaking at colleges. What, what are one of the things that you say? I know networking is a big subject of yours. Again, thank you for having me here today, and uh, you're right, I do speak to a lot of high school organizations and college groups and primarily talking about how they can be successful and land a position, and um, I'm just really astonished what I'm finding out there right now when I'm speaking at especially college campuses. Uh, after I'm done with my, um, my little topic or seminar, I'm always followed out by four or five students who just have sheer panic and fear on their faces because they just have been listening to the news media and their parents and teachers, I don't know what people are telling them right now, but they have a sense that they're never going to be able to find a job, that it's going to be impossible for them to earn any money after they graduate and got these huge, you know, college bills. And I sit there and I spend at least a half an hour trying to reassure them and encourage them that the time has never been better for them to succeed. There are so many more choices at their feet than I ever had. There's new businesses, there's opportunities to express yourself through social media and through your portals there. You can have your portfolio online so people can see your writing samples, your art samples, your fashion, whatever it is that you are about. Now you can share that with actually the world, which I never had that starting out. What are some practical tips that you could give to college seniors right now and graduates in general? Okay, yes, I do have some practical tips I'd love to, to give these recent graduates. Um, the first one is networking, and that's the number one element that we do not spend enough time on, especially when we're getting ready to look for a job. I always tell the students when I'm there, it's sort of a trick that I do. After I, when I'm, I'm during my speech, I always say, hey, you've just made a connection with me. Um, I'm a good contact to have. I'll always be here for you if you need it. You can find me online. So be sure to like me on Facebook. You know, you never know when you might want somebody to take another glance at your resume. I'm happy to do that for you. Or if you want to contact me about a certain organization or a position that you'd like to have and you want to know if I can help you get an inside contact, I'm just someone here who's going to be able to help you. I may not look like I can help you on the outside, but I may be able to farther down the road. So be sure to friend me up. And I tell you, Cindy, when I go home and the next week after, if I speak to a group of 50, I may get two people that like me. And that just tells me how much people are not realizing the importance of networking. And in my own personal life, Cindy, I this last week I've had three reconnections of people that I have met maybe 10, some 20 years ago. And, and back then when I met them, I asked them, is there anything that you can do to help me to get to X, Y, Z? And they said, I can't help you now, but maybe sometime in the future. Well, the future happened this week for them, and they've circled back and contacted me about some great job leads. And so you just never know when a person that you meet can actually come back and help you. Now, for students, what I often say is, like say some of your, your, would visit your dad at work and you meet some of his colleagues. Tell them who you are, what you want to do, which leads up to the practical tip number two. What I find out often when I ask college students, so how can I help you? They come back and they simply say, 
I just want a job. And I said, no, I can't help you. Don't give me that response. I can't do anything with that. I understand you want an entry level job, but what field is it in? What kind of things do you want to do? Do you want to be a coder? Do you want to work in fashion? Do you want to work in a restaurant? Do you want to be in public relations? I do you want to be in photography. I need you to be able to give me a little bit of a hint of what it is that you are looking for. Do you want the job to be nearby? Do you need to take a bus? Do you want it to be another state? Do you want it to be in government? If I, if, if any, no one can help you unless you have an idea of what you want. So that's my practical tip number two is have a sense of who you are and, and what you want to do for your next job or for your entry level job. And with that being said, if you go to your father's um, employment and you talk to people there, tell them who you are and ask them if they know anyone that works at that company that you want to work for. Just by expanding your base of people you contact with or connection with, that's going to help you find that perfect person inside their organization to try to land that job. Because Cindy, as you know, 97% of all the jobs that people do land are due to the fact that somebody's somebody that's helped them get them there, someone that they knew that helped them. So networking is so extremely vital, no matter what stage of the game you are in, whether you are a recent graduate or whether you are an employed, you need to always be thinking of that next job. And so in order to get that, you need to have a sense of who you are. So those two tips combined are going to help send somebody straight on this path to, to getting a job in an area that they want it to be in. There's one more tip that I can, I can leave everybody with today, and it deals with the fact that um, you need to take initiative. So many of the times that in my own personal life where I'm like, gosh, I wish I could have done that what so-and-so just did, or I wish I could have done that, and the wishing doesn't get you anywhere. The taking initiative is what brings results. I um, just started blogging, you know, three years ago, and I wanted to, I didn't know I could have a voice about PR, and now I do. And my colleagues always say to me, gosh, you know, I wish I did that. Well, you can do that. You can do that. You can go out and you can go to networking groups. You can go out and send your resume around. You can go out and like people on Facebook. Take initiative. Try whatever you can, whatever it takes to get that job, whether it's going back to school, coming out of your comfort zone, saying no to a friend that you can't go to the beach today because you're going to go with so-and-so to hear a lecture where you may make a connection. You need to take initiative. Well, thank you for taking the initiative, Cindy, to have me on today, and I hope these tips have helped everyone. I hope to talk to you again soon. That's about it. Thank you so much for watching Cindy Ronzoni at cindyronzoni.com. I hope I've helped put a few of your fears to ease and that you can enjoy the summer and know that your future is definitely bright. You can read more about my thoughts on my blogs, which are cindyronzoni.com and socialspreadmedia.com. Thank you.